All right, today you guys were looking at a Dell R710, and this does not have a dedicated iDRAC port here in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and add a dedicated iDRAC port to it today. So you can get these cheaply off of uh, eBay for about 20 bucks. Um, you can even get the Express uh, controller, which looks something like this. So you're gonna need both of them if you want uh, the dedicated uh, Enterprise drag. So you install this, we already did this. So uh, to do that, you have to remove your rate controller card if you have one and it's right underneath this. But since we already have that done, we're just gonna simply install. You just gotta make sure you line up the holes. Go ahead and slide that into place first. And once it's in place and you got your holes lined up, you can go ahead and push down pretty hard to get that locked in like it just did. Make sure the pins are, everything looks locked in. Now we can go ahead and make sure when you, before you do this, you disconnect your power. Sorry, I didn't say that before, but you wanna disconnect your power first just to be on the safe side. Um, so we have this plugged in. Let's go ahead and boot it up and make sure it works. All right, you can now see we have our server back. We have our power back in. We've booted up the server, but you can see, you know, our NIC is still not lit here. So we have to go into, we have to boot up the server and go into the iDRAC settings, which is control E. And once we go in there, we got to set this for dedicated and not shared, because right now it's sharing off of NIC one. So let's go ahead and change it to dedicated, and then we should have activity on this NIC now. So like I said, once you boot up the server, go into the iDRAC con configuration utility. Uh, on boot up, it'll ask you that. Let's go to our lane par parameters. Let's go in there, change that from shared to dedicated. Um, and everything else is the, the default. If you want to change um, the username, we can change that too. And then if you want to set for a static IP, you can do that as well. We're going to change ours to DHCP. So we change that there. And the rest looks pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and save our settings and reboot. And let's try and get into, uh, let's actually try and see if the NIC uh, boots up them. All right, we are back behind the server and you can see now our dedicated NIC is now lit and active. And now we can access this over the network by just doing a simple network scan. And you guys are all set. Thank you, see you in the next video.